Hi, I'm Don Clark with FileMakerProGurus.com, and uh, I, this is the first in a series of interviews I'm going to be doing with uh, prominent people in the FileMaker community. And the first interview for today is going to be with Alexis Allen of DesigningFileMaker.com and uh, Hyperspace Data Solutions, located in Toronto, Canada. Good morning. How are you today, Alexis? I'm great, Don. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm glad you could join me today, and we could uh, get, get busy going on this. Uh, Tell me a little bit about how you ended up becoming a FileMaker developer. Uh, well, I have a degree in music, actually, and um, I, I play the cello. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I graduated, I realized I wasn't really going to be a professional musician. So um, I went to work, and uh, my first job was in the art department of a sign company. And it just so happened that they used FileMaker as well. So um, my job wasn't really FileMaker. I was supposed to be managing the art department, and I did. I, I did that, and I enjoyed it, and I learned a lot about um, so this is my introduction to graphic design, sort of from a, from a wayfinding perspective. And um, I got interested in FileMaker, and um, I asked them if I could go on a course uh, with Core Solutions at Barney Lawn, and mm -hmm. uh, they did. And I was like, wow, this is really neat. You know, you can make your own software. And um, it was FileMaker 3.0 at that time. It was 1997, so it's been a while. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it just kind of went from there. I got another job. And uh, it was a, with a um, um, package design and marketing firm. And um, so they also use FileMaker. And I ended up doing some stuff for them. Mm -hmm. and I kind of went from, I sort of stayed in the design um, uh, field for a while. I, so I worked for various packaging companies. And in fact, my major client right now is also a package design um, department. So um, I just kept doing FileMaker. And then once I had kids, I wanted something that I could do flexibly from home, choose my own hours. And it just seemed like a really great thing. I'd always kind of kept up my skills through the years. I'd always done stuff for my first job, my second job. They, they were my first clients, basically. I did some subcontracting. And I just kind of, you know, kind of grew from there. And um, in 2004, I started um, where I am right now, which is uh, at Loblaws. I'm not sure if you know that. It's a large grocery chain in Canada. Oh, and uh, I think they're one of the largest um, firms, actually, privately run firms and um, privately owned, I guess I should say. But uh, they are, um, they do a lot of private label. So they basically market their own products through vendors in their own stores. So they have President's Choice, you might know that, and uh, a few mm -hmm. bunch of other brands. And so they design all the packaging and they wanted a file maker solution that would help them with their workflow and uh, their management of their art projects as they're going through the department. So I knew FileMaker and I knew package design because I'd already worked for several package design companies before. So it was a really good fit and I've been there almost 10 years and um, you know, I do have some other clients on the side, but um, recently I was thinking, you know, I really uh, love design and I want to share my love for design with other developers and I know it's something that people really struggle with. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's where I'm at. Yeah, I'm uh, one of those that struggles with the design functions as well. Um, so your design background, you, I noticed on your website, you said that you uh, just started looking into it and then kind of self-study and self-taught yourself. Is that correct? Uh, to some extent, yeah. I mean, I've always had an interest in sort of the, the visual. Um, I've always been interested in making things. Uh, I got a camera, uh, um, a 35 millimeter camera. Um, camera Minolta when I was a teenager with a macro lens and I just love that I just love taking pictures and at that time you had to take the film and get it get it developed and um, you know and I took some art courses I, I took some fine art courses at our Ryerson University I did desktop publishing mm -hmm. uh, at George Brown so you know I don't have a formal art background but I've always done sort of a little bit here and there I've tried to just sort of learn as much as I can as I go and plus I work with a lot of designers too right that that's who my clients are so right. I get to pick their brain sometimes. I get to uh, see what they think, and, and you know they share their design knowledge with me as well. And uh, we sometimes collaborate a little bit. Um, so yeah, so uh, so I kind of love both sides of it. You know, I feel mm -hmm. like I have one foot in each. You know, I have a foot in the file maker sort of coding, you know, concrete side of it, and I've got a foot in the in the more uh, abstract sort of graphic part of it too. That's great because, you know, it, it, the design function, every time I can, I can tell you this, every time I post something about design, um, it gets a lot of hits. People are interested in it. And I think you were wise to pick that area to, to specialize in since you're so uh, with it as well. So what are some of your favorite design tools? Uh, you know, I like to keep it really simple. 
Um, I love pen and paper. I think it's really underrated, you know? I think uh, we get so excited about, about something new and we want to just run to the computer and start, start doing something right away. And sometimes that, that's, that's fine, but I actually really like to kind of start simple and, and sort of let the idea process develop a little bit. Um, but I know that's not what you're really asking me. Um, I like to use FileMaker as a design um, tool. Uh, I love Acorn because that's a really inexpensive uh, graphics package that you can use to manipulate uh, images. So, you know, saving PNGs for, for icons and, mm -hmm. you know, little graphics that you might want to use. It's kind of like Photoshop Lite. So, you know, Photoshop's an expensive program. It takes a lot to learn it. I've used it in the past, um, but I like Acorn and it satisfies most of what I need to do. Um, I'm not drawing things from scratch. I'm basically usually taking something that someone's already done and I'm saving it in a different format or I'm resizing it or I'm doing colors or something. And it's pretty good. I posted it about it a little while ago. It was on sale. Um, I think it's normally about $50. So it's, it's a really great way to, uh, to have a graphics program that will mo meet most of your needs. Um, what else do I like? Um, I use balsamic mockups to do uh, some mockups. Uh, that was something I heard about from Dev from Heather Winkle. And uh, if you're trying to do something a little bit more formal, a little bit more complex, a little bit, um, you know, you, you want to sort of present it. It's a good, way, it's a good presentation tool because it kind of looks like it's still designed. It's not a, like a finished product. Sometimes when you show something to, uh, to, to a client in FileMaker, they start picking apart little things and, and it's kind of too soon. So mm -hmm. mockups is nice because it looks like it's sketched, you know, it, it looks yeah. as though it's been sketched. Um, I use OmniGraffle as well for flowcharts and things okay. to plan out, um, you know, where my screens are going to be, what I'm going to need, what kind of uh, functionality I'm going to need um, on it. So it's not really, it's a design tool in that I'm planning, planning the structure. I wouldn't plan necessarily the visual design with that. Okay. Um, yeah, and like I said, FileMaker sometimes, um, depending on what, I, what I'm doing, FileMaker can be a really good design tool. Um, yeah. Well, great. Um, Tell me uh, a little bit more about your business, if you would. Uh, it's Hyperspace Data Solutions, right? Yep, that's correct. And um, so I'm mainly in-house at Law Applause. Um, I do a few, I have a few other uh, long-standing clients. And, um, you know, between the in-house and, and the blog, you know, that, and my family, obviously, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I'm pretty busy. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically what I do. Um, we've been doing a Docker workflow management uh, solution and it's a large company. So we're a small department inside a big corporation. Okay. And, uh, so we're integrating with SAP, um, um, you know, the corporate SAP department, we're doing mm -hmm. a lot of sort of different things. Uh, we're getting a little bit more, more visibility now and, uh, they're really excited about web direct. Um, they want to be able to, you know, reach some people who, who don't need a full-fledged FileMaker solution, but just need some of the information from certain areas. Right. So, um, so you know, um, like in a way I felt like, oh, I'm not a real freelancer because I'm kind of in-house, but the good thing about it is I'm always doing something new. So I'm not reinventing, you know, the same thing I've built a hundred times before. Right. I'm, I'm always pushing the limits and, you know, we're doing, we're doing new stuff. So, it's really exciting. We've got a few uh, FileMaker Go apps um, that are out there, which are really useful, and I, I love working with them. And I love how how self-contained they are, and mm -hmm. and you know, I love the targeted nature of it. You know, you can really do something cool and 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 slick. You know, that really really is useful for people in meetings. So yeah, so that's 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 me. Okay. Well, last question then. What's some of your favorite non-FileMaker activities? <laughs> Uh, well, I have, like I said, I have um, three children, and they're 14, almost 12, and 9, and uh, so, you know, that's busy right there. Um, mm -hmm. So I love hanging out with them. I, um, I love being outside, and uh, if you follow me on Instagram, or I post them to Twitter as well, I love taking photos uh, with my phone of mainly nature, it's just things outside. And um, I have two dogs as well, so I, I walk them, so it's an excuse to be outside. And... Um, I don't know if you saw, I posted a, a, um, an article a little while ago. I do improv, so um, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, so it, I do um, an improv class once a week, and it's just silly, you know? It's just like, just let it all hang out. It doesn't matter, and uh, you know, there's nothing. That before, you know, just as an exercise with some other people. It is yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really fun. It's a really great way to connect uh, with other mm -hmm. people as well. 
and it keeps you just kind of creative, you know, just keeps the ideas flowing and uh, just keeps you interested. Uh, I also do, I speak French, so I do um, a French class as well, and I do a little bit of translation for my friend, um, and so, she, so I do translation for her, and she does a French class for me, so, so we enjoy doing that, That's and nice. uh, yeah, so I presented uh, last year at the Montreal um, Famicom Conference in, in French, and I was a little bit nervous, because, mm -hmm. you know, it's been a while, and I thought, oh, I should keep this up, you know, it's a lot of fun, so, yeah. yeah. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. Um, you're going to the uh, DevCon this year? Yes, I am. I'll be there. Um, I will. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I, I've got. Mm -hmm. I can't remember now off the top of my head all the sessions because I, I looked at it and I was like, "Wow, this is a yeah, lot there." So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. All right. Well, that was all I had for you today. I sure appreciate you taking the time, and um, I look forward to getting other people up here to do other interviews and try to get everybody into the community to know a little bit more about the people that are helping form FileMaker as it goes along. So thanks very much. I sure appreciate it. Great. Thanks a lot, Don.